want to talk about modality, which took three years to make today's version. Now I'm using the iPhone version in this tutorial, and the iPhone and the Android versions are very, very similar, except for a few minor differences. Layout. The first thing I want to talk about is the layout of the system. Four buttons. Simple. And the big revelation, which we are running a patent for, was that the letters are arranged by shape. Block A has straight lines with diagonals. Block B has a mixture of straight and curved lines. Block C has curved lines. And Block E has straight lines at 90 degree angles. Believe me, I went through hundreds of different letter arrangements. This arrangement seems to psychologically work really well. It's like a party game. And somehow not only I, but others are now reporting to me that it is very easy to learn. I'll also mention that the letters within the blocks do come in alphabetical order, so that A comes before K, comes before M, comes before N, and so on. I also believe that this works on a deeper psychological level, but that's just my intuition speaking, not necessarily real research. I'll also mention that the colors are intentional as well. It seems to me that these shapes go well with the colors that represent them. It's not just a Google or Microsoft ripoff. Those colors really seem to work. Basic operation is 90% of the use. Now the basic operation is this. Tap a button, and that button could represent any of the letters on that button. So if I want to write because, I'll start with the BDGJPR button for a B. It's important to see that I can get any of the letters on that button. So as I flip to more words, I see a variety of words and letters. But I know I want B for because, so I keep that letter in mind. Then I look down for all the straight 90 degree letters for an E. Then the curvy letters for C. And notice again that I have words that start with B or R or D. So that's B, E, C. And now A, then U, then S. And because shows up by then, but I could also press E to finish it off if I like. Then I select the word because. So that's the basic operation. And if that makes sense, it's probably 90% of knowing how to use modality. Stars and slashes. You might have noticed that some letters or words have stars and other words have slashes. The star basically means that it will print that letter without a space. Sometimes you need just a single letter or a few letters in a row. Let's say IDK. You can just get all of that right here. I D K Now a slash puts those letters at the end of the previous word. This is a quick way to get word endings. So I want breading which I happen to know is not in the default dictionary. So I go B, R, E, A, D, and select bread. But then under word endings, I can select ING slash, which will become breading. Left hand, right hand, and sounds. A few options you'll want to know about are the sound settings and the settings for different hands. For left or right hand, I just select the left or right hand button. In iPhone and iPad, there is a two thumb setting, which we may bring on to Android, depending on the response that we get. It looks like this. Then, of course, if you don't need the sound effects, you can turn those off as well. More words, back one step, start over. Now, sometimes you don't see the word you need. I need ouch, but when I tap O, U, C, H, I get such, cost, cool, and soul. But with the more words button, I can get ouch. Notice that when I've completed a word, the more words button becomes a word endings button. There are other buttons that change once I've started a word. Look at the delete and super delete buttons on the right of the keypad. They turn into start over and back one step. So I want to write could, C-O-U-L-D, but I write C-O-U-L, and then I tap the green button again on accident. I can start over with the reset button and begin again, or I can go back one step to remove the accidental tap from the green button. Then I can tap the yellow button for the last D to get could. Add a word. 
Finally, you'll want to know how to add a word that's not in the default dictionary, or delete a word that's there but that you don't need. So you need a word like flubber, since you just watched the movie. Obviously the word isn't going to be there, but you can add it through the plus word button. And you type F-L-U-B-B-E-R. And then you tap the add button if you want that word in your dictionary. There are three things to know about this screen. One, it is case sensitive. So adding flubber with a capital F will get you a different word from flubber with a small f. Two, when you don't need a word anymore, you can delete it. So you saw flubber and told 10 of your friends about it, but now you don't need flubber anymore. So you delete it. Three, most important of all, this is a rudimentary way to manage your list. There's a secret in the add word and delete word function that you'll want to know about. And that secret is that you can sort of manage your default word list this way. That is to say, suppose that you want a word to show up on screen and it's one that most people wouldn't necessarily need. I'll use increases as an example. I can definitely get to increases, but it doesn't show up until I have tapped through enough times for the very last letter. I N C R E A S E S. But suppose I know that I will use that word a lot, and I want it to come up faster. I can simply add the word, even though it's already in my list, and modality will move that word from its current position to a higher position. So I add it, and then increases shows up higher. In a future edition of modality, we plan to have words that you use commonly also creep up the list on their own. But in this edition, you can force that a bit with the add word function. Conclusion. So that's it for modality for the phones, and we want to hear more from you. Please do write us at support at joyfulmachines.com or reach out on Facebook. We'd love to hear your experiences and suggestions. Thanks for trying modality. Bye.